Hello, welcome back to another tutorial on my channel, or on our channel. Um, before I get started, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody. Um, my channel has hit my first goal of 350 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. And I couldn't have done it without all of you participating, um, getting involved in my content, and clicking that subscribe button it really warms my heart really makes me feel um like you guys are finding my content useful um they are basic tutorials so these are designed just to give you the facts of what things can do what the best options are really and how to link them all together so i'm glad that this content is finding its home with you guys um now as for um today's video we are going to look at simple power um, th there are many many different ways to generate RF in all the mods 9 we've seen the power reactors already um, you can do it with um, with mystical agriculture there's many many ways mechanism is another great uh, way to generate power however I prefer to run with the actual power mod because it's cheap and you get some reasonably good um, energy for just the, the starter which is crazy easy to make um, at power mag so let's have a look at the magmators first these are all tiered um, so you got the magmator starter and um, this is it this dialectic paste is very very easy to make I'll show you that in a second and these dialectic casings are very easy to make and um, but that's it that's all you need to get one of these um, magmators which can store 20k uh, which, you know, is pretty good to get you up and running, getting some RF happening, or FE, whichever one you want to go with, whichever money you choose. Um, but like I say, it is tiered. So let's go to the basic. You need one of the starters to get up to the basic. Um, it's not until you start getting up to blazing where you need to start using the energizing orb to um, energize a blaze rod to get these uh, blazing crystals. I'd highly recommend to anybody that is trying to get into power is to go as high as you possibly can with the resources you have. Don't think about it, just get as high up the ranks as you can. You will thank yourself later. Um, so yeah, and then we've got the thermo generators from, um, from the power mod, which are running on blazing crystal blocks. Uh, so I'll show you all that in a second as well. So yes, this is purely how to get easy early game um, energy to start powering yourself in the world right so let's have a look then so let's start with the magmators the magmators are very very simple one block spaced um, energy generators and um, they come in what one two three four five six seven um, seven tiers I'm pretty sure all of the power generation comes in seven tiers so it kind of once you understand one you'll understand them all kind of deal um, they are awesome at what they do and they are great for early game now you have to start with this magmator starter um, and like I said this one will store 20,000 FE um, and generates 80 FE per tick isn't a huge amount on its own but when you chain them you start getting a good amount of energy coming in um, you can also stick items in here that require charging that could be a battery from the power mod itself or a jetpack pretty much anything that requires um, energy to be charged into it um, so that they are very useful in the fact that doesn't matter what tier you go to they all look the same in the GUI um, but they all do very very different amounts of energy the only downside to this is you need lava and you need lava on tap um, these magmators make their energy from the um, from the lava so what I'll show you is how I get lava on tap for my overworld from the nether now that is anything that you want lava for that could be using it just for your magmators it could be in crafting recipes anything really this is how you can get it and it all comes through the beautiful ender tank um, so if I show you here that is an ender tank 
you can then set these channels a bit like we did on the um, mystical agriculture farm we can set these to different colors so we can have this one all white is on lava but we could also get that all blue or just one stripe blue and that could be for ether gas from the wither so these are absolutely incredible and very versatile you can't click in them but when you right click on them it does tell you what it's storing inside of that tank and how much is in there um so yes that is what i use here and then i love the pipes mod uh with a z pipes with a z um you get three different pipes you, this one's a fluid you can get an item and an energy pipe from them or you can get the universal um which combines all three and you can run all three items through that one pipe which is spectacular i'm using that in my um all the mods nine to the sky um, to feed my phytogenic insulators which are growing on my mystical agriculture i use the universal ones they are phenomenal but anyway so yes i use uh, an ender tank and the fluid pipes um, you just need to make sure that you set it to the, the pull that's done using the wrench um, so if i demonstrate over here so we just chuck a couple of pipes on here like so and as you can see it just looks like it's sort of sitting there you have to use the wrench shift right click and then you get that little flange and now you can see we've got a bit of a information at the top that it's transferring at 50 megabit uh, 50 millibuckets every tick you can get upgrades so this one i've got an advanced upgrade so for fluid it then moves it from that 50 to 2000 millibuckets per tick um so that's 50 that's 2000 millibuckets per tick so again when you start creating all these make sure you go for the highest pipe upgrade um, this works for all of the items uh, so item fluid uh, gas energy it, it, this one uh, upgrade can go in them at all so let's uh, take you over to the nether so you want to try and find yourself a nether fortress it's the best way to get a decent amount of lava underneath you need to have a huge pool of lava I believe it's something like 10,000 blocks of lava before it's classified as um, an infinite lava source it's not infinite because you're going to take a bucket away then you've taken a source of bucket uh, a source of lava however in this instance it doesn't actually remove the lava from the pool it just treats it as if it's an infinite amount so that's why i always head to a nether fortress equally you can go there and you can raid the nether fortress you can set up your farms for blaze or whatever you want to do there whilst this is all pumping um, so let's go through our little uh, waypoint here to the lava. So here we are in the uh, in the nether. There's my nether fortress just up there. Um, and then this is my little lava factory. You can add as many of these um, hose pulleys as you wish. I've added two, which I always seem to find one is not quite enough lava. Um, yet adding two is more than enough lava. Um, and then the pipes mod again i have flanged out the edges so it knows it has to pull and then i've put some advanced pipe upgrades in here you can't access the pipe this section here unless you have told it it's pulling um with the with the wrench and shift clicking um you can't actually activate this bit so that's a good telltale because you can't actually see that you've set it to pull on these hose pulleys um so you that's a good way to know that you've actually told it to pull now these hose pulleys um so if i just wind this back a little bit so if you see these pipes go down um and they go all the way down to, so this one i've pulled up a little bit so it's uh it's kind of not sitting at the bottom but again these are silly cheap to make from create um so let's have a little look at this um at create hose so this is your block here Hose pulley, um, a copper plate, very simple, or hammer, a couple of bits of copper, very, very easy. A kelp block, easy making. You just get nine bits of kelp from the ocean um, and then you smelt them and then you make it into a block. And a copper casing is incredibly simple. You just get a stripped log of any sort and then just right click a copper ingot onto it. That then gives you your copper casing. Very, very simple. That then gives you your hose pulley and then you want um, a little hand crank which is this bit here which allows us to um, wind it out now 
with create any of the create machines if you just stand here and right click it goes one way if you shift and right click it then goes the other way now this will take up hunger um, whilst you're winding it down and it does go a very long way so when you're going at it and it doesn't seem to end just keep going with it it will get there it just takes a long long time to get down to the bottom of the um, bottom of the weld there um, you will then um, get this commendation tapping the mantle um, and you'll get industrial spillage and and whatnot the fortress is because I've just come here to set this up but tapping the mantle is what you'll get when you drop one of these in and pump out lava so this is the other end of the ender tank that I showed you in the overworld so these two as you can see is one bucket in each are pumping lava into this ender tank um, so if we right click that you can see um, we've got lava in there we've got 32 um, miller buckets of lava sitting in that ender tank and um, so this is how I then basically have lava on tap in my overworld so let's go back home um, and then this is the other end of it so there's our ender tank feeding out to all of our magmaters I love the magmaters they are phenomenal um, and with the magmaters not only can you access and put something into charge if we then go with um, at power uh, ender um, so if we get ourselves um, an ender cell and then get ourselves an energy cell uh, let's chuck another spirited in why not so let's chuck this on the end here because this is the one with most power um, so in here is where we basically store energy so again you can stick in items to charge in this ender cell um, but it won't store anything because there's no batteries if you like no no way to store it this is just an empty cell so this is where your energy cell then comes in so we shift while we're looking into the uh, ender cell we then shift and left click and that then puts it in so now we can store up to 400 million fe in our little ender cell which is being generated by our magmators now it's only actually being generated by this one because these aren't linked um, so we can just grab some cables um, like so and we'll grab spirited again why not so if we then link these I love the power cables they are just so sleek and sort of slim I need that one so I can also with power cables just walk through them doesn't matter if it's the bit that connects or not whereas pipes you can't you are literally stopping yourself getting there with the sort of the pipe boundary I guess but power mod is awesome um, now this is now filling up much quicker and you have nine channels with the spirited I think the lower end ones give you one or two channels so you can set different channels so if I click on nine there's no ender, um, there's no energy cell in nine so it's not storing anything for nine um, but on our number one we are then storing energy you can then get a player transmitter which will then transmit your energy to you wherever you are to keep things like your um, your jetpack charged and things like that whilst you're on the go uh, these are pretty awesome um, like I said really cheap to make and they are tiered so you only need to start with one and carry on going up now the dialytic paste is easy um, I keep doing that I'm missing the uh, missing that W there All right so the dialytic paste um, is really a simple item to get um, so oh, I keep forgetting when I'm in creative that takes priority um, so dialytic paste we now have lava on tap so we can create 24 of these little pastes per craft um, super Im easy to get hold of super easy to make um, the rods so you're going to need these both these rods to make your casing so your casing requires two of each of those um, rods uh, these are created very very easy by six dialytic pastes and three iron bars gives you eight um, the same is for that one but it goes across the crafting table instead of up that makes your your dialytic casing which then also allows you to make anything from power power basically uses them as a machine frame uh, so to speak 
So yes, magmaters are definitely your best friend because you are future-proofing yourself with lava on tap in the overworld. Um, and you're also being able to store energy easy through a magmator, which again is very, very easy to get and set up. So onto the thermo generators. Um, these are something I've recently discovered, um, something I've recently got into with um, the To the Sky or Mods 9, that these thermo generators are just incredible at how much energy they can make in just a single block. Now, I love magmators and I'll always have a space for magmators, but in the skyblock world, it's not as easy to tap into enough lava to make these work properly. You can do it, and I have done it in the in the skyblock world, um, but I've now moved on to the thermo generators. Magmators um, require a lot of lava to run, and that's why we tap into the mantle. Um, in the nether because it's an infinite block so it'll always give us lava so it'll always have lava but you don't have that in the skyblock world because the nether is a skyblock um, so yeah the, the lava is a bit more of a pain to get and maintain the amount that it requires so these thermo generators work on one block tile so if I grab out these so keep in mind that um, to make the magmators you need the magmator and then you need one, two, three, four, five, six more items to then make that setup, that one block. This you need just two. You need uh, a heat source and the thermo generator itself. That's it. It's 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 that easy. That that crazy easy. So if I then get my ender cell um, and then stick that on top, and then get. Um, another energy cell out um, let's make some room we don't need that anymore um, so as you can see this is generating into power one because this is all part of us so if we go into two and I want this to fill two I can then just get my energy cell and right click it or shift click it in and it will store a hundred um, hundred FE now right now it's not giving us anything there's nothing being generated um, there is nothing so this is not filling this whatsoever that's because it needs a constant source of water um i use chalices because it's just a, a, a basically a infinite water source on you all times um now i generally use a sink um and some pipes and that then feeds my water this is basically to help keep it cool then you start to generate energy now this one block, this niotic block, um, which the niotic is this level, um, so you've got to go through the basic tiers, the energized which you need the orb for, and the blazing you also need the orb for. The niotic um, level is a good level to get at because it really jumps in what it gives you. Um, so this one is, as you can see, one just one of these is creating a good amount of energy. Um, so if we look at the thermo generators, um, let's, I don't know, let's go with the Niotic as we're working with Niotic, and we right click on that, there is a tab here for heat sources. So this is where it then gives you ideas on what one will be the best for your, um, for your thermo generator to generate energy. So the hotter it is, the better it is. So you can start off with a magma block, easy peasy um, lava. you can even use your lava if you're going to tap into the mantle anyway you can just chuck a lava source underneath it and job done uh, we, I always go for the blazing block because it is easy to get it, it really really is easy to get um, but then you do have soul lava now I've not experimented with soul lava but you can see the sheer difference between this block which is the best to this block which is insane um, temperatures um it'd be great if anybody has played with the soul lava from uh, the all the modium pack um drop a comment in the the description uh, sorry in the comment section and let me know because i would be very interested to see how good these thermo generators run on soul lava um so yes this is it and again they go in tiers so you can start with tier one 
Um, these thermo plates are pretty easy to get. If you're already at the Nether Fortress, you would have got Blaze. Um, and again, it's tiered, so the next tier up to basic, you require the starter, and then so on as you move through. The Niotic Crystals are crazy easy to get. You can grow them in your Mystical Agriculture farm once you've got a few. Um, and it's just simply a diamond, simply a diamond in the orb, and bosh, you've got some Niotic Crystal. Um, so if we look here um, at what we need, so this is compressed, so yeah, this is um, expensive to get to start with, but man, will you thank yourself once you've got yourself a Niotic Seed, um, because you can just make anything, even the Spirited, You can, I think you can get um, seeds for all of the levels, um, except for the Dialectic page, you can't get any seeds for that. But look how slim this is. Obviously you need some water in here, but this is awesome. The thermo generators are just awesome and a great way to generate yourself um, energy. Now, because we've got this blazing block here, you can see that it's telling us we've got 280% more energy from this generator than we would do if we didn't have it. Um, so let's just stick one down on the floor, give it some water and see what it does. Yeah, nothing. So it has to have something underneath it. So let's let's start with a uh, magma Ooh. magma block. So let's stick one of them under there. Yep. So now it started to kick in and work. So what are we getting from that? Eighty percent. So to have that block, which again is not very expensive in the grand scheme of it, that one's given us two hundred eighty percent extra FE. This one is given us eighty with a magma block. Now don't get me wrong. If you can only get the magma block, 80% extra energy that this is generating is incredible. Um, so I always opt to get the best that I can possibly get with the resources I have. I highly recommend you do that. But I hope this little sort of demonstration of early game energy shows you that getting into FE is not expensive. I mean, to give you an idea, just... Um, to give you an idea on another um, starter energy this is uh, from Mechanism um, the wind generator which is everybody's sin it's iconic for mod packs with Mechanism in it this is expensive you've got to have um, a metallurgic infuser you've got to have osmium you've got to have a decent amount of redstone so this is all just purely to get one of these control units You've then got to have a metallic converter or infuser and iron on tap to make your alloys. Um, you've got to have osmium um, and then you've got to make these batteries, which again is two more of those alloys and gold and they're very expensive. So this as an early game is very expensive. Um, I don't know if this tells us. No. So left shift. Yeah. So this only generates 80 um, FE per tick. So it's actually a lot of work and a lot of resources to get very little back from that 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 windmill they say that the higher up it goes the better because you're up in the wind more but for the efforts of getting all the way up there the efforts of all the um, resources you need to get a windmill you've already built three or four of these magmators you've already got lava on tap which you need yes so yeah it's it's incredible early game lava um, energy and resources friendly other than going down the mechanism route and getting expense coming through so i hope this has helped you understand early energy and early ways of um, getting fe cheap and relatively quick and easy to get these magmators or these thermo generators um, obviously they cost a little bit more because of what they're doing um, and the heat sources you need under it, but get yourself some magmators on the go. They are phenomenal bits of kit and they will not see you wrong. And these will continue to generate passively whilst you're doing nothing else really, just pottering around your world, doing your, your quests. These things generate um, and store energy for you. Um, they will store energy in them if you don't have um, a block to store. So it's not like it's just sitting there wasting its energy. It will store it for you.
But anyway, I hope this has helped you out and leave some comments in the comment section below. Tell me if this is going to help out in your early game and if anybody has had any experience with the soul lava underneath these uh, thermo generators, whether it's crazy or I don't know if we can get buckets of soul lava. Uh, he's done it again. Um, yeah, I want that one, don't I? Uh, soul lava. Um, no, so it's only given it to me in a tank. Let's see if we can, can we? Yeah, see, this is also not allowing me. There's something not quite right there, I think, um, because you should be able to right click on that and off it goes. Right, let's have a look, shall we? Uh, right, let's get one of them, get one of them and stick a bucket of soul lava underneath and get one of them, put that. Oh, you can't put it there because it's passing that as a block. That's interesting. Um, anyway, so let's get rid of all of this. And let's have a look at this. Uh, water, zero. Oh, man. So it's done that already. It stored 200, uh, 2 million FE. That was in that time that I put that there. That's done that. Oh, wow. Um, let's... Uh, no, I don't want one of them. I want one of them. Let's stick that on top. 900% more energy. So it's giving us 5,400 FE per tick to have soul lava. Anyway, guys, I've rambled enough. Thank you so much for your time and your, um, your inputs and your subscriptions. Everything helps, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.